Good morning, I'm Brooke Hafes. The police department has identified the two people who were found dead inside a home in Grand Chute earlier this week. Officers say 40-year-old Ku Zong and 36-year-old Se Chang Zong both died of gunshot wounds. Their bodies were found inside a locked bedroom in their home and a gun was found near their bodies. Police say the reason behind their deaths is still under investigation. Best Buy is hiring for the holidays. Stores across the U.S. are hosting job fairs today and tomorrow. The job fairs run from noon until 7 p.m. today. The Wisconsin Humane Society says they rescued dozens of cats from one Green Bay residence. What was originally reported to be 20 to 30 cats turned out to be more than 60 cats in all. The Humane Society is now offering promotions on cat adoptions for anyone who wants to help find the animals a home. I'm meteorologist Michael Fish with another mild day for you here. A few more clouds than yesterday, maybe a stray sprinkle north and west, but it's mainly as we head through tonight. We're going to see our first showers developing and then on and off through the overnight, maybe even a rumble of thunder with that. Those go on and off throughout your Friday and Friday afternoon. The temperatures going to start to dip but before any of the starts 68 today, a little bit cooler lakeside. The winds picking up a bit, maybe that stray sprinkle for tonight. Showers developing. As we head through the evening, 60 degrees going to be a mild night in that rumble of thunder that continues at times tomorrow going to be windy out there falling afternoon temps. Then it's going to get cold tomorrow night and that wind and cold going to stick around through the weekend and, and notice this maybe even a few flakes flying through the air. Nothing major for us. The accumulation for most of it stays off to our north and west. Uh, we could see a few flakes on Sunday. No, nothing major and then Monday 48 degrees. The Packers game right now looking dry. Now you can download our news app. It's free in your app store.